Well, after that, uh, there was a link wire went out on this and uh, found out that this is, this capacitor in the distributor is part of the EMP proof system. I figured, well, I better have another one on hand, so I ordered one in. I think it was uh, a little over $20. You know, it's just a big capacitor. Yeah, two microfarad. 100 uh, volt DC. But it's just a big capacitor, but it's to make it so if there is an electromagnetic pulse that it won't burn the distributor up. So on set, you know, the other one was still good, I just had to replace the wire. But if this is something that can go out, although the machine would certainly run bypassing this altogether, still good to have a, a spare one on hand while well, I can still get them. Because, you know, when people, you know, talk about uh, dropping a big one, you know, the concern is uh, blowing things up and everything being radioactive and stuff. Really, it's not necessary. Just that electromagnetic pulse would completely <laughs> change civilization. You know, you'd be back in the Stone Age. Because people are so dependent on the electronic gizmos like this. If they lost them, if all that stuff went down, things would just come to a grinding halt. And it's not impossible. Uh, you know, you, you always think, oh, that's far-fetched, but not really. Uh, this sort of thing can happen. People are weird. Uh, there can be overreactions. There can be accidents. Things can happen. Uh, you know, it wasn't that long ago here, Noah. Uh, one of the NATO planes, you know, screwing around, poking around by Russia, you know, I think it was a Spanish plane, but it was on a NATO assignment. Launched the missile. Didn't mean to, accidentally. But you keep playing around with that stuff. You know, and accidents can happen. You know, it's just, it's just playing with fire constantly. You know, we've always got to have these little drills. and So, it could happen. You know, it wouldn't be a... It wouldn't have a whole lot of effect on me, you know, my life would pretty much go on, but to be without this stuff, like I say, it would, you know, all the financial system, everything, is all dependent on electronics. You lose that, uh, and, and there's no backup for that. You know, just one little glitch, boom, everything is, a power system, everything is down. But I'll still be able to drive. And this will ensure that. I'm going to wrap that baby in mylar and put her in my... I've got a bunch of ammo cans I keep spare parts with me. It'll go in there. Kind of thing better to have, you know, when I can still get them. But every time I hear them, you know, making these wild, crazy threats, yeah, uh, they're going to play around until something happens. I mean, it's been so close before, and, and they just keep working right on the edge. Eventually, you fall, you know. So it's certainly not impossible. You'd like to think so, but it could easily happen. And I'll still have wheels.